All right, guys, Coach George Tannis here, and a first look, just did an unboxing, didn't record the unboxing, but here's the first look of Bells of Steel Weight Tree. If you like the content, please like, subscribe, and share, and we got lots of great content for you for gym equipment, lifestyle, saving money, getting huge, getting ripped, and building your home gym of your dreams. All right, don't mind the heater. So, I just put this together, uh, the Bells of Steel weight tree. As you might notice, there's a rogue weight tree behind me. That's about two years old. And this guy here, I've never actually seen one. I don't know anybody that has one. But every time I went to the warehouse, here at the Toronto warehouse, it always stood out as a beast. It looks really beautiful when there's weight on it. It just looks like a beastier kind of weight tree than the rogue and so let's start off so basically they're almost identical the rogue is 12 inches long um the pegs okay uh the bells of steel is 12 and a half and that's good because you have steel that comes out here and you got that same issue on the rogue and a lot of people don't like that and you might notice that um i have um I have Atmat uh, plastic there. Uh, what are they called? They're called uh, sled spacers. So they're uh, used for s separating the weight on your sled. If you're going to use your sled, I use them to separate my steel and not bang into my my uh, my weights. Not that I use my weights anyway. There's a Rogue USA plates here for one year that have never been used because they're trash. But I got a great deal on belts of steel, mighty grip plates. I got our super super deal and I got so many plates that if I open them up they're gonna be on the floor like these two guys and I also got a tree over there so got a small space here so a lot of people do not like weight trees uh, some people like me in my particular situation here we have no choice most gyms that I know have no choice either because a lot of people do not like the view of a six post rack in their gym it's a little bit too intimidating for most families but if you want to be cool on instagram go ahead but that's not what most people like a weight tree is definitely something you may need and separate some of the weights now i like this one because i've got the uh, barbell holder right out of the gate and it's cheaper than the rogue okay so basically if you find this on a good day like i did uh Again, I'm going to speak as a Canadian uh, shopper as opposed to American because I'm not really sure about the prices down south. But uh, you could probably find this for about $75 to $100 cheaper than the Rogue right out of the bat. But that's not the whole story. The Rogue doesn't have the barbell holders on the bottom, which you could put. You can get attachments and put the barbell holders on each corner of that. The Bells of Steel comes with that right out of the right out of the factory, which is great. Now, we have a lot of these rogue weight trees, and we do have the bell, uh, barbell stacks on them, but depending on your budget, I'm not sure a lot of people are gonna appreciate spending $90 per barbell holder, right? When you could get something like the Bells of Steel, for about, at the end of the day, it's going to cost you uh, a couple of hundred bucks cheaper because you got a weight stack, weight tree, but no barbell holder. And it's kind of like, it could be there. So why isn't it there if you're trying to save space in a gym? Do you understand? So I have this pad here. I have this, I have this cross, cross uh, member here. And I could put accessories here. And uh, an accessory I could put is a barbell holder for at least dumbbells or something. You know what I mean? You can see the dumbbells here. This is my actual barbell holder. Okay. So you can see you can just put the little barbells in there or even a shorter, um, you might see right there, the, 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 the curl, the curl bar. Okay. Or you can put the bells of steel nemesis bar, something that's short. And it would go there really nice. For me, I like putting dumbbells there. So the fact is that you could put it, but you didn't put it, but now you want to charge me 93 bucks each holder, which is why I don't mind the Bells of Steel thing here. So only downfall here are the steels hitting the 
the, the weight. And what you're gonna do with that is you're gonna put a piece of plastic there or something. And basically, just take one of these guys out. Okay, so just basically whatever. And you put one there. I don't like these. They're too expensive for the most people. And as you can see, they don't really last. This has been used once on my sled and already got ripped. So I said, hmm, maybe I should just put it somewhere where it doesn't get all whatever. So that would be like that. I'm sure you can go to your plumbing store, your hardware store, and find something that would protect your plates there. So there you go. You got an inch less. And obviously, you don't want the weights. You don't want to be doing, uh, uh, I took some plates off. Like that is something I don't like. Especially if there's family, if you're going to take that out, you definitely got to take it out with two hands. A little bit dangerous. Uh, do that a hundred times and it might slam on your foot. No good. And right here, we got powder coating. Same as the Rogue. As you can see, that's about two years old. Yeah, yeah, I know. I haven't used it much, but uh, I have experience with this weight tree. And a lot of people, oh, it's going to uh, deteriorate. The steel's going to deteriorate. Don't worry, man. It's uh, been holding up pretty good okay it's not going to deteriorate uh, probably in the next five ten years that's for sure okay so you can see that see that see that but if you want i'll take one of these mighty grip plates here we'll take the fifth 25 and we'll just slide it in okay so you're gonna see it's gonna get scratched up right away right off the bat but that's fine eventually it's gonna look like that okay you can see that side there eventually it's going to look like that so uh what else so i think it's pretty good value it's probably the best value right now it's got wheels on it right out of the gate too as opposed to rogue i believe you got to pay for them extra i'm not sure about rep uh the other thing about rep is that they make a weight tree that's really really nice with chrome pegs uh but the problem is they're eight and a half inches i believe no more than nine about eight and a half inches this is 12 and a half so yeah i think for most people eight and a half would be okay if you're like not squatting you know like if you're not moving big poundages a guy like me i like to have various weights i like to have lots of change plates i got steel plates i got bumper plates and most of my clients and people i deal with have the same and sometimes you're just gonna have to have a lot of weight pegs to organize it nicely where you actually love going to the gym and looking at your gym and actually the ease of using it and organization. So yeah, once I figure out, I think it's probably gonna go right here and that's fine and we'll see what's going on. But uh, definitely I think right now at the moment for most people, and that would be like 90% of the people that have home gyms, garage gym, I think the Bells of Steel is actually really perfect um the only problem is there's no way to unless you want to fabricate it to put a, a attachment if you want to start drilling holes and stuff a lot of people have done that with the rogue but again you got plates here it's not what you think okay first of all it's going to cost you about 400 dollars extra to get yourself a, a barbell holders because i just looked this morning and i believe it was 93 dollars plus tax each plus shipping so that's about 400 dollars extra this isn't even 400 dollars. this on a this on a bad day is 300 dollars plus tax canadian so you can just see like why would you pay so much extra it's not one of those things that you care about selling in the future okay uh to be honest with you i didn't want to but because i have so many weights and i got a good deal on the weight and because I do a lot of sled work, I don't want to, and I'm going to have to start using these uh, Rogue USA plates soon, even though they've been here and they've never been used. You can see that it's never been used. One year, never been used. But these Mighty Grip plates are going to get used and abused, and especially outside with flat. So I'm definitely going to need two um, weight trees and if i need to sell it i need to sell it. it's not something like you're buying a five thousand dollar rack and you're asking somebody forty five hundred dollars for it or four thousand dollars asking somebody four thousand dollars for it this if you pay three hundred dollars for this and you want two hundred dollars back believe me you shouldn't have too much of an issue because it's a weight tree nobody really cares this thing's going to look beat up in a week anyways right so that's my first look guys it's really solid looks like a beast uh even though i haven't used it i haven't seen one the only way i've seen it is in the showroom they have a few of them in the showroom. I would say maybe three or four. 
and they do definitely look beasty. They definitely do look beasty. And because I'm usually beside these, uh, you know, I got these rogue ones at home, and I got the Atlantis, and I got the Hammer Strength, and I see them, I, I know, they're good. They're also expensive, and it's just definitely not what most people need. So again, I would just, there's some downfalls here. The steel hitting your plates, because I definitely would not want that, okay? And I would just go, not these ab plates, whatever. I wouldn't get them. They're too expensive. I think they're, uh, I think they're 15 for like $45. Maybe if you live in the States, it's worth it for somehow with shipping. But from a Canada point of view, nah. You can go to the store, get yourself a plastic there, cut it, put it, and you're good to go, man. You just want your plates to be organized. That's it. You don't want your plates on the floor like this. Got twos. Use a lot of twos. So... Trust me, a lot of people put it off getting a, a weight tree, and a lot of people put off getting two weight trees. If you need it, you need it, and you're just going to love it. And, um, yeah, if you got to put weights up like that or whatever, it's only been like a little while because I got the Mighty Grips a little while ago. Um, it's, it, 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 it's, it's horrible, man. I hate it, okay? Um, again, uh, putting this together wasn't too bad. Uh, I don't have much tools here. So it was worse than me than I anticipate it'll be worse for you. Uh, but I did, uh, Bells of Steel does have a video on their YouTube channel, which was uh, probably better than reading their supposed <laughs> instructions, which I probably didn't even open. Okay, so it's a good weight tree, guys. I would definitely, looks good. Looks definitely good. Looks beasty. And uh, maybe I'll show you a picture after it's done. All right, Coach Dennis out. Like, subscribe, share, and have a beautiful New Year, 2023. And don't spend money that you don't have. And buy equipment that you can use and abuse and not worry about, oh, my God, i got to take a mortgage out or at least a house or whatever, you know. But you don't want to do that. This is, a, this is definitely a better investment than the Rogue, even if you plan on reselling it later on because nobody's going to give you what you think you're going to get back on a weight tree. So you might as well get a weight tree that is both solid and you can put some dumbbells or some little weights there or whatever you you decide. All right, Coach Stannis out. Like, subscribe, share. Have a beautiful day, a beautiful year.